So welcome along again to the Proposition $100 Marketing and Tech Stack, how to set up your tech stack video series. That's a bit of a mouthful. Um, Saturday morning and I'm here and I'm gonna show you the next stage of the process, uh, which is how to integrate Thrive themes with your website so that you can create easy drag and drop landing pages that aren't gonna cause you any issues when you're trying to create something really quickly. Um, Thrive themes is super cool. Uh, it's a really, really good tool. We use it on a lot of WordPress websites where we're trying to rapidly prototype stuff for clients where we don't want to pay developers. Um, the other beautiful thing about Thrive Themes is that you can integrate bits of code and HubSpot with it as well. So everything all happens really, really smoothly end to end. Great. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my WordPress website. Um, again here, and then I'm going to go over to my Thrive Themes member dashboard. So once I've signed up for Thrive Themes, um, we've got the agency subscription, but you'll buy the single business subscription for $19 a month US off the top of my head. Um, you'll get this access to this dashboard. So what you have here is a whole list of plugins, um, which are what we are looking at, and a whole list of themes, which are uh, different themes for your website that you might want to try. Now, the plugins are what we're really interested in. You'll see that there's a lot of them. Optimize to optimize landing pages, Thrive Comments to enable comments. Uh, Thrive Architect is what we're really interested in because that's the landing page builder and a whole heap of other stuff. Now, with your subscription, these are all available to you. So I'd suggest you have a play around with them. Um, but for now, we're just going to download Thrive Architect. Uh, and once that's downloaded, we're going to come over to WordPress again, go to plugins, add a new plugin, upload a plugin instead of um, instead of searching for one like we have before. So uh, that will pop up this little box here to allow us to choose a plugin, uh, and then we're just going to choose the file um, that we most recently downloaded here. Because it takes a while to upload, uh, I've already done it. There's a little tip that I've got for you here though. If you're struggling to upload plugins to your WordPress website, uh, install this PHP settings plugin uh, in WordPress. And I'll show you how that works. So the reason you install the PHP settings plugin is to enable you to override some of the standard PHP settings in um, WordPress, and that's going to enable you to upload bigger plugins because you're not going to have requests, timeout, and all of that sort of stuff. This looks super complicated, but you really just need to look at these four different things. Um, the maximum execution time, the maximum memory limit, the post max size for a post, uh, and the uploaded file max size, and that's going to mean that it makes it easier. You're going to have to wait a while, but it's going to make it easier for you to upload plugins into WordPress. Cool. So once you've uploaded Thrive Themes, you'll notice that you get this Thrive dashboard down in the bottom of your WordPress left bar. Now, you've got the dashboard, the license manager, and general settings. Uh, and the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the license manager. So this is where you activate the product, um, and you do that just by entering your email address and then coming over back to your Thrive dashboard, going to My Account and License Keys, and once that loads, you're gonna get a license key for your membership here, which you can paste in here and activate your license. So that's going to enable you to go to your dashboard. And once you're in your dashboard, you'll see that you've got Thrive Architect installed, um, some other stuff that we've got to set up in a second, um, but this is gonna enable you to build Thrive Architect pages. Now, what I'm going to want you to do as soon as you've done this is I'm going to want you to set up an API connection with HubSpot. So this is going to enable leads that you generate uh, and a bit of tracking through Thrive Themes. So come down to Thrive Features in your Thrive Features in your Thrive Dashboard, go to API Connections and click Manage Connections. Great. So now you're here, click New Connection, select an app. Um, so that'll be HubSpot. Right, and then it'll ask you for an API key. What that means is you need to go over to HubSpot and generate an API key. So come to your dashboard, click integrations, click HubSpot API key, 
and click show key. Copy the key, head back to WordPress and paste it in there. Click connect and you've now connected your opt-in forms to HubSpot. Beautiful. Now the next step uh, and I'm not going to go too deeply into Thrive Themes here, um, but the next step is to start looking at uh, how to build pages in Thrive Themes, so in Thrive Architect. So there's a heap of templates that are really useful. Um, so just go add new page from the pages menu in your WordPress dashboard. Um, enter the title of the page. Now you're going to need to save it as a draft. Uh, before you can launch Thrive Architect because Thrive Architect requires a URL link to a permalink to the page, which you won't have until you have a draft. So you'll notice here that you've got a permalink now, and then you can click Launch Thrive Architect. So you'll see here that the Thrive Architect page um, has just pulled a random page standard out of the website. Drag that over there. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a template. So click Page Setup, choose a landing page template, and you'll see that Thrive already comes with a whole host of landing pages. Now, these are great because this is going to enable you to basically do whatever you want without needing me to tell you how to code, without needing to design anything yourself. Um, so you might click this landing page here, um, you've got a whole different host of options that you can use. We're just going to click two-step lead generation page uh, and then we're going to choose the template. Great. Once we've chosen the template, um, we can start to edit it just by dragging and dropping and clicking um, and customizing stuff. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. I'll leave you to learn that for yourself. But the final tip that I want to give you is about forms. So I'm just going to create, show you the two ways to create forms in Thrive Themes. So there are two options you've got. Um, you've got this lead generation option here. So if I drag a lead generation block in there, it will create a form. Um, I can edit the form elements, so I can add in phone numbers, etc. Um, or, but I can also connect the form to a service. So you'll see I've already connected the service to HubSpot. I click HubSpot. I set the connection details, so I choose my mailing list. Click continue choose the fields that I want to bring over from the form and tell the form where to go after the opt-in action. Now that's the first way to do this. Um, the problem with doing it like this, that's really easy, but the problem with doing it like this is it will not track the submissions in HubSpot um, like, it, like a normal HubSpot form would. So if you want to do it with a normal HubSpot form, you come over to your HubSpot dashboard, you go to the marketing tab, you select Lead Capture and you go to Forms. Now what you're going to find is you've got a whole pile of forms that you've already built. So let's just take the Proposition website form um, and edit that form for a second. Uh, come up to the top here and click Share. Uh, and that's going to give me a code um, for the HubSpot form that I want to integrate. Now you're going to copy that code in here. Um, take that over to your test landing page, grab a custom HTML block from the building block section in Thrive, drag that in there, and paste the code in. Um, that's not going to give you a preview, but what will happen is you're going to need to do a few things after this. Um, you're going to need to customize the CSS, um, so how it, the form looks. Uh, and that's going to need a bit of technical skill. Now, the beauty of this is that customizing the CSS for a form is pretty straightforward, and you can generally find a developer who's willing to do it for you really, really quickly, especially if you already have a style of form on your website. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. That's going to cost you 
um, depending on how much your developer is between sort of 15 and $100 to get that fixed up, depending on what service you use. Uh, and then your forms on your landing pages are going to mimic exactly what the forms um, you want on your website to look like. So now you've got your custom form set up, you're just gonna save the page, you're gonna exit the editor, head back to your website, and then you're done. So now you've got your HubSpot form uh, integrated with your landing page, you've got Thrive Themes set up in your landing page, and you're good to go. So thank you for watching this uh, segment, and we're gonna be back soon with another set of tips on setting up your marketing and sales tech stack. Thank you.